me also empty me empty <laughs> December 7th one p.m. and I'm still on the island. I was hoping to get out from the island a bit earlier, but uh, I was a bit delayed on the truck wash because my trailer, which supposed to be already clean, was inside the wash, and uh, I had to wait around twenty minutes to be uh, for it to be clean, and uh, then I hooked it up and went to the loading. And my loading is at Morel uh, on the island. It's about an hour opposite way from the exit of the uh, from the island so I won't be able to get out too far today I was hoping to get to New Hampshire Walmart but I don't think I will make it but anyway right now I'm being loaded and uh, new trip started goes to Carlisle Pennsylvania so it's a kind of usual triangle starting <music> I am across the border, this is Maine, right now it's uh, 8 p.m. but it was dark since 5 p.m. Of course it was snowing a bit but anyway, days are so short and it's uh, happened so quickly, it's quite hard for me to realize that it's winter time already. This is the next morning. Uh, I was sleeping at West Gardner Service Plaza and yesterday it was fully packed, like no places at all. I came here around 11 p.m. and was forced to park right like that. This is Dima, and this is me, so fully packed and it's huge service plaza. There is always a place here but not yesterday, so Monday night crazy to park here i'm at my delivery already checked in over there there's a check-in point you give them all the paperwork and they get your phone number and stuff and uh, they will call me around 5 6 a.m and give me the door i have one hour 13 minutes left driving for today that's good there was no delays today everything was smooth and i already know my Next load, it's gonna be from Gloucester, from uh, the port terminal, and uh, it's going to Milton, Ontario. And I checked the mileage, it's total from here to my uh, shipper and to my delivery, it's in total 600 miles, so it's doable in the one shift, that's good. I spoke with my friend Dima, and he already empty and uh, going to pick up. We have a different locations for pickup but the delivery destination in Milton and Terry is the same so I guess we will meet there tomorrow at night late night maybe close to morning after tomorrow it's 8 a.m. I'm already empty stopped at the truck stop to wash my face and brush my teeth and now I'm heading out to my shipper it's about two and a half hours driving December 10, 7.30 a.m. This is Dima, he's already empty and me also empty. We spent overnight like that guy beside the road heading towards the docks. And the docks are over there as well as the check-in office. Dima was here first in line, so the receiver woke him up after dinner was empty, he called to me on my cell 
and told me that I can go. And uh, so the first place was empty, the second place after me was empty, and he pulled on the second for me to pull on the first once I am. So we cool. Unfortunately, I still don't know my next lot, but uh, despite you told me to try to stay here, don't open my shift, and he'll let me know once he got something. So Timo is already leaving for his next pickup. We have the same pickup location, but the different times. His in a couple hours at 10 a.m., but mine only at 6 p.m. And I don't know if my lot is gonna be ready or not. Can I come there? He will come there soon and ask about my pickup, if I can come or not, and he will let me know. So Dima called me back and said that there is a plenty of space to park and at least I can come here and even if my load is not going to be ready until the evening, I can wait here. And uh, anyway, I came here and checked in, got the door right away. No issues. Nobody told me nothing. They have such dogs that uh, I don't have to open my trailer doors. I can back in, they will open it from the inside. And uh, the thing is, I came like hour and a half, maybe even two hours later than Dima. And uh, when I came here, he still got the green light and they didn't start to load him yet. Which means uh, it's gonna take a while, the loading, probably more than a couple hours, we'll see. And uh, I already had my breakfast. Now I'm gonna try to have a rest to be ready to drive as far as possible because my delivery location from here it's uh, 750 miles, something like that. It's possible to do in one shift, but I don't know. I have Toronto on my way, Montreal, and Quebec City. We'll see. I am still here and it's already six hours. It's crazy. I have a red light. Once it changed from green to red, uh, I felt like somebody came in a couple times, so I think I'm partly loaded, but since then it's been like maybe three hours and no movement at all. And for some reason, this facility, Conestoga Cold Storage in Kitchener, on the Google has a good reviews, like good. I don't know why, because Dima was loaded in like five hours, maybe six, yeah, yeah, probably six. And at the same time, there's another bulk truck. He came also with Dima at the same time, and uh, he's still here. And I'm still, I'm here like six hours, so here's probably around eight hours here. Crazy. It's gonna be some bad reviews. after midnight almost four hours after midnight and here also like four and a half hours and uh, even though tomorrow I won't have my full 13 hours I will have like nine something and uh, I am like hour past the Montreal so I will be able to get home tomorrow after midnight so that's the plan from here to my first drop it's uh, four and a half hours driving and we'll see how it goes from there now i'm going to sleep <music> December 11, 
it's almost 1 p.m. and my plans are a bit changed. I switched the trailer with another driver and he is gonna do first delivery because I wasn't able to do it on time and they don't work late evening. So dispatcher told us to switch the trailers and he continued to the first delivery and uh, his trailer actually goes straight to Moncton which is good for me and uh, it's about nine hours driving from here to Moncton and I have nine hours 20 minutes so good. I came to my delivery in Moncton it's 8 a.m. and all the doors are taken I was told that my appointment time actually is not 8 a.m. it's 9 30 I don't know why Balk do that but sometimes they do and uh, now I'm gonna have to wait at least one hour till door 11 is empty and only then I can back in and they will probably start unloading me at 9 30 that what I was told by the way when I was in Gloucester at my shipper after checking in I was in the truck waiting for the door to be assigned to me and uh, right beside me parked another truck uh, and uh, it was Yura truck driver from the Russian YouTube channel Nomad and uh, actually he is one of those guys uh, there was two guys I think or maybe three uh, who inspired us to immigrate here to Canada through tracking anyway it was quite nice to meet him he's a really pleasant guy in the person another thing in the real life he's much slimmer I, th I would say even skinnier than in the videos so as they say camera adds weight it is already 11 20 a.m. so I was a bit more than three hours at the delivery not so good but anyway I am I will be able to do a test on my way into the island so all good going home <laughs> 